Oxtail is a gelatin-rich meat which is usually slow-cooked or braised. My husband Joe showed us in the last video how he cooks oxtails on the stovetop. Now today he's back to show us how he cooks it in the pressure cooker. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you're looking for authentic Belizean recipes, then you're in the right place. My name is Barbara and this is Cooking Made Simple. If you haven't seen the last video that I uploaded where Joe showed us how to cook the oxtails on the stovetop, I invite you guys to go back and take a look at it because some things in this video is going to be similar but some things are going to be a little bit different, alright? So we had two packages of the oxtails and we reserved one package to do this in the pressure cooker. So he's just taking it out the package and then pouring some distilled white vinegar on top. We are from Belize originally so culturally this is what we've been taught to do with the meat. So he's just going to wash it with the vinegar and water. And you can also use lemon juice or lime juice to do this, alright? So now he's going to season and I think he's just going to use a couple seasons less this time around. Just to show you that you can do it differently, you know? And he's putting salt on all the pieces. Next, some cayenne just like two or three dashes of the cayenne and then this is ricotta if you don't have ricotta you can replace this with paprika or paprika and this is just so the meat will get brown ricotta is made from a natto it's also known as achiote and you can buy it online then he's putting black pepper so just a few uh, spices this time around he's gonna rub it in and this is the type of pressure cooker where you can brown the meats first. I think most of the electric pressure cookers are like this nowadays. He's going to set it on the meat chicken button because that will give him 15 minutes to brown the meat. And he put some olive oil in the pressure cooker, about a tablespoon. He did not allow it to heat up before he put the pieces in. And I guess somebody commented at the last video that you're not supposed to let olive oil heat up anyway. So I guess Joe's been doing it correctly the whole time. Look to the left of your screen to see that this is what he did when he cooked it on the stovetop. So I guess this is called braising because he's searing the meat at very high temperature. But we just call it browning the meat, right? So now he's flipping the pieces over. And he's going to add all this water, some onion. But wait, let's see what he does with the onion. He's going to remove the pieces out first, just like he did when he did it on the stovetop. And then he's going to put the diced up onions in. And the, the onions are diced up in big chunks, all right? So I guess we could say they're chopped. They're not diced. And he's just going to allow the onions to saute and somewhat caramelize before he put the pieces back in. And all this he did when he cooked it on the stovetop. There's one thing that he's going to do differently than when he cooked it on the stovetop. And that thing is, he's going to use less water. So this is about a cup thereabouts of water. So was that like a cup and a half of water, a cup and a quarter of water? A cup and a quarter. When cooking meats in the pressure cooker, less water is better because if you put too much, it'll become a soup, not a stew. So he's going to set it for one hour. First of all, you got to brown the meat for about 15 minutes and then take the meat out and then you saute the onions for about three or four minutes and then you uh, put everything back in and um, then you lock it down. And set it for one hour? Set it for one hour and let it cook. All right, guys, so after the thing finished cooking in an hour, Joe let the steam come out so we don't get burned. And he's allowing me to open it up. Take a look. See, if you put more um, water, it would have been like a soup rather than a stew. This this portion of oxtail did not turn out to be a whole lot because we already have a video here at the site where we're showing you how to cook it on the stove top. So that half was more than this half. Let me get some to clean that up. Just as a presentation. 
All right, so in the other video, we served it with rice and stewed beans. For this video, I'm gonna eat it with some potatoes. They're kind of like scalloped potatoes. You're gonna see a video on it. Ooh, making a mess. And some cabbage sauce or cabbage salsa. All right. Isn't this gorgeous? <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna taste at the end when it cools down. But in the meanwhile, I'd like you guys to go ahead and hit that like little thingy if you like what I've produced. Of course, follow and subscribe. Um, don't forget to leave a comment and share. All right? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be tasting in a second. All right? Bye-bye. Mm. Very tender. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching The Bear Pantry Show. Don't forget to follow the page and check out my book at my Facebook store or at bearpantryshow.com. Bye now.